everyone, welcome back to Style Lewis. Today I'm going to be sharing with you how to make your very own fabric baby capsule cover. Now to be fair, this project does require quite a bit more fabric than what my usual projects do, uh, which is probably why if you've ever looked into buying one of these maybe from Etsy or from a boutique baby store, they are quite pricey. So this is definitely one that is cheaper and easy to do at home and worth giving a go yourself. So to make your capsule cover you'll need two coloured cottons and it does pay to mention that the colour I used for the interior and trim of my cover was slightly heavier than the other cotton which helps to weigh it down when the cover's being used. So I'm going to list all the pieces you need per colour. Colour A, which will be shown as orange throughout this tutorial, is my interior colour. You're going to need a piece 42 inches by 35 inches. It's also the colour I used on the trim to create a contrast on the outside of the cover. You'll need two pieces sized four and a quarter inches by 35 inches. And I've used it as a contrast on the straps. You'll need two pieces nine inches by six inches. Colour B, which will be shown as my navy with the little white elephants throughout this tutorial. For the exterior piece, you'll need a piece 34 and a half inches by 35 inches. You'll need another two strap pieces, 9 inches by 6 inches, and you're also going to need two Velcro sets, 4.5 inches by around 1 inch. The materials you'll need is an iron and ironing surface, sewing pins, fabric scissors, a bread plate or something similarly sized like a bowl or a container, a fabric pencil, and of course your cotton thread and bobbin. So before you cut any fabric though, you're going to want to check the size of your capsule. So capsules, although roughly similar at the end of the day, do come in varying shapes and sizes. And before cutting your fabric to the sizes listed previously, you want to check that these measurements will in fact be suitable for your capsule. So place the fabric over the top of the handle, sitting in the upright position as if you were carrying it. And if it covers the base of the footrest and the back of the headrest, you're fine to continue. Now if not, you may need to adjust your measurements to accommodate this working to a quarter inch seam allowance. Also it pays to note at this stage that you want to make sure any directional patterns are aligned in the right direction. Step two is attaching your trims. You want to take your colour A trim and align these a good side down on the short ends of your exterior colour B fabric. You want to pin and sew using a quarter inch seam allowance. Next open and iron all seams flat and your exterior piece should now be complete and the same size as your interior piece. Step 3 is sewing all your layers together. You want to lay your interior piece good side down atop your exterior piece good side up and pin together at the corners. Next take your bowl and place it on each corner so that the edge is touching the sides of your fabric. Draw around the shape to round off your corners and you want to trim and replace any necessary pins in the new corners. Continue to pin around all edges leaving a small gap large enough to turn the fabric the right way out in a future step. Go ahead and sew around all edges sewing the two layers together using your quarter inch seam allowance and around all four corners trim away any excess fabric. Next you want to turn your layers the right way out and press well. At this stage you still have the opening that requires closing so starting close to this gap, top stitch around the entire outer edge of your cover using your sewing machine footer as your seam guide. Then it's on to step 5 which is creating the straps. Now as we just did previously, place an interior piece good side down atop an exterior piece. Pin and sew around the entire outside edge leaving a small gap for turning. Trim the corners and turn the right way out. Press well and top stitch. <music> 
So as I mentioned, I'm switching up my colours for the straps and I'm using my colour B as the exterior to provide a contrast against the navy. You want to fold your strap from short end to short end to figure out where and on which side you need to sew your Velcro. And step six is where we do this, we sew our Velcro on. You want to pin and stitch your Velcro pieces onto each of your top stitched straps. The soft side of the Velcro sits at the bottom of your exterior fabric and the harder side of the Velcro sits at the top of your interior fabric. Step 7 is placing the straps. You want to sit your capsule on the floor without its base as if you were going visiting. Place your straps on the handle and measure how far apart from each other it is that you want them to sit. Lay your cover down on a flat surface fold it in half and along the central line pin your straps on according to the measurements you just made in regards to how far apart you want them. Place your cover over the capsule to check your placements before sewing. Make sure the fabric can reach the base of the feet and over the headrest as we did in the first step. And step 8 is of course where we sew these on. Sew a box around the area you had pinned but not quite to the edges as this will help the cover sit nicely when in place. So that's it for today's sewing tutorial. I hope you've enjoyed this one. I really like how my one turned out. If you would like to purchase the written and photo step-by-step -step instructions for the sewing project, head along to my Etsy store, also linked below, or I'll see you next time. Bye.